Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for October 30th through November 5th. Remember this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Bits and pieces may and other bits and pieces may not or the whole thing may or the whole thing may not. This is for Aquarius Sun and Rising Signs. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you. So when I am told to stop, I will and I think the time is right now. I'm going to make sure that is zoomed in. Or out. Okay. I actually want to go up just a little bit. <coughs> so the basis of your reading is the Nine of Swords. That means that you are having quite a big... Uh, amount of worry or, or depression this week. I think there's some drama going on, could be um, in your head, might not be, but there is some drama. It looks like you just want peace, so you may be releasing this drama, okay? It looks like you are really working on mastering your emotions and you're working to move, to move towards peace in your life. It's like, you know, I don't want this drama anymore. All I want is the peace. That's all I want. I need to have peace. Okay? And you may be delivering that information to somebody, you know, saying, you know what? Here it is. Take it or leave it. Okay? It is what it is. You know, this is, I want peace. And if you can't deal with it, then goodbye. Okay? I feel like there have, there's no more faking a situation, pretending, pretending that everything is going to be okay. Okay, it looks like, you know, you're, you're taking action. You're moving forward. It's like, you know what, I'm, I'm doing this. If you don't like it, too bad. Okay, I just feel like you're really moving. Any delays that were going on are over. Okay, um, you may be receiving some kind of communication from somebody this week, and it could be drama filled. Okay, it could be filled with drama, and you've been expecting it. It's like this is new, it isn't new news to you. Okay, it's like it's what's been going on for a while now and it's just continuing to go on. And you may just all of a sudden be done with it. Be like, back up. Okay, I'm done with it. Stop. All right. You know, something like that. You may be, I'm done. You're closing that door. You know, I see this and this seems to be happening for a lot of signs. It looks like... A lot of you are freeing yourself from something, becoming free. It, it, it is. It feels like some insecurity that you've had is being let go because you realize what it is. It's like this something has been holding you down, causing you to be depressed, and it's unnecessary drama. And it's like, you know what? And like I've already said, I'm done with this. You know, and you've been, you've perhaps you've been hiding, you've been hiding from it and pretending that this really isn't the case and pretending that you're okay with it and letting this other person take control in, I, it's almost like a narcissist situation. You know, I've been trying not to say it, but I kind of feel like it is. It feels like somebody has been trying to, you know, um, tell you that you're you aren't this and you aren't that you know what I mean and you're like you know what I'm not even gonna hear that anymore okay I know what the truth is and I don't care what you think okay I don't really care what you think it looks like somebody is trying to um, manipulate you all right and you have too much life experience to let that happen so and you have been letting it happen it's like you know what, you've been letting somebody manipulate you and you've been letting somebody um, run all over you and you're like, today, this week is the week where you say, no more, no 
more. I want peace, okay? I just want to be happy again, and I don't need this drama, all right? Um, now, this is supposed to be a love reading. So far, we have Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, which is you. We have a Capricorn. We have a Cancer. We have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn again. Um, I see many of you just want to bring the happiness back to your life, okay? You're thinking about how you used to be so happy, and that's what you want again. It's like somebody had some kind of obsession here. I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but there was an obsession that got out of hand, okay? Um, and now things are very insecure, and you just want to be done with it. And it may end hastily. You may be out of the blue, be like, you know, very forthright and very um, straightforwardly. You might say, you know what? I don't want this anymore. I'm getting my life back on track. I'm going to be me. And if you don't like me the way I am, then you can hit the road, Jack. And don't let the door hit you in the ass. Get And I see things are happening quickly this week. It's like all of a sudden, um, the storm hits. And you are the tree that breaks and just boom. You know what I mean? That's what it's like. It's like all of a sudden, something happens and you lose it on somebody. Okay? I'm not saying to go ahead and lose it on somebody, but that could certainly be the case. Um, it could happen very quickly out of the blue. All right. You know, some truth could come out. Some truth could come out and it could make, it could, it could be like a make or break it truth. You know, where it's like, you know what? I've heard enough. I've seen enough. I can't, I can't do this anymore. It's time for me to get my life back on track. This has really brought me down. And I feel like for many of you, this week is about removing the depression, the drama, okay, in your life, all right? And you may do it very quickly, all right? Because it's the right thing to do for you. Perhaps you're going to release a heaviness that you have been carrying around. Maybe you have been carrying somebody else's load, all right? I feel like many of you are just going to be like, you know what? Like I you're going to release something, okay? You're going to decide to be, do the right thing for you. Take the practical approach, all right? It feels like you're just ready to do what you need to do for you. And you may be a very, you may be a little hot-headed or the other person may be a lot, a little hot-headed. There's, there's definitely some drama here this week, okay? So there may be some um, words spoken that are harsh, okay? There may be some harsh words this week <laughs> that, you know, may cause you the need to um, retreat. You know, you may feel like you just need to be alone. At the end of the week, you may feel like, you know what? That was rough. That was rough, and I need this time to heal. I need this time to reevaluate my path. I need this time to rejuvenate my soul. So towards the end of the week, you may even overindulge, okay? You may try to escape from what just happened, okay? You may feel like you're going to overeat or overdrink or over who knows what your overindulgence is. Everybody has them, everybody, okay? You may feel the need to overindulge, or you may just feel the need to retreat, to be alone, to heal, okay? Because it feels like there, this week, what the beginning and right through the week is there's some kind of heaviness, there's some kind of depression and sadness or belittling or manipulation, because this is for so many people, that it's too heavy and you may burst, okay? And release it 
because it looks like many of you are ready to get your life back on track. You're ready for this change. You're ready for a change. You're ready for peace and harmony in your life. The drama is going away. I see that you're releasing it. You're like, you take your drama and shove it up your ass. I'm going to get you one of my angel guidance cards. <laughs> Sorry, it ended like that, but that's how strong it is. It's going to be harsh. Okay, so I'm going to get you one of my angel guidance cards. And then this may have happened already, or it may be happening this week, or it could be happening the week after, because time is fluid. I'm going to get you one of my cards. And this one is the one. Beautiful. And I'm going to get you one of my Archangel Michael cards. Make sure there's one. Decide to be happy now. Look at that. Is it perfect or what? It's your card. That's your card for the week. Decide to be happy now. And I think many of you are going to do that. Play. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. This card came out because by the end of the week, maybe even before, you are going to need to renew yourself okay that's what this reading is about releasing the drama releasing whoever it is that is not respecting you okay whoever it is that is belittling you or um bringing you down causing you this depression which is the basis of this week releasing it and then healing from it renewing yourself okay the next question is from arch Next question. <laughs> Next card is from Archangel Michael. Decide to be happy now. My prayer. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. <laughs> That's the perfect card for you. To see the goodness. You need to release the negative, the negative thoughts, the negative people, the negative happenings, whatever it is, to see all the goodness in your life. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you for the week of October 30th through November 5th. Somebody could get a much needed awakening handed to them by you and then you know because you released all that energy giving it to them you may need the time to uh, recuperate you know renew your soul and really release it words are one thing actions are another okay you can release it via words but next the next step is releasing it from your heart and soul good luck Talk to you later.